This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Well, Jack from JXL smashing, isn't he? Obviously, Josh is headlining on Sky Sports this weekend and uh, his logos are everywhere. Yeah, definitely. Jack's the man. Jack's the, the best in the game. Well, if you want to get your, if you want to get a burger, ribs or wings, where do you go? <laughs> Burgers, wings and ribs. Yeah, Colchester. Essex as well. He's got a few on there. He's got yeah, a few he's now. Good. He's got a few buses now. So get down there and get on. That's the one. So, Mick, this is finally on. They're both negative, which is the, the biggest relief. Oh, might be Jack. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, give him a call back. Um, yeah, this is finally on. Is it a simple case? Is Dave is just going to bring the pressure and Josh is just going to have to outbox him? Do you see, like, do you see the fight like this? Um, I, no, listen, I, I see the fight going Josh by knockout. And I've been saying it for a while now. Anybody that's asked me to say it, anybody that's looking betting tips, I've said it. But who knows? I could be saying it off a personal point of view or not. But you know, I've seen him in the gym. I've seen the work he's put in. I've seen how, how good he's looked and how confident he is. And you know, I believe you'll see the best of Josh Kelly. I don't care what David Evanessian comes to do because he'll have an answer for everything. He has so many different looks, so many different styles which he can set into, which... 90% you know, of the people haven't seen. Um, the guys who are closest to him, the guys in the gym have all seen how good he is. And I think you know, on, on Saturday night you're going to see that. He's up for it, he's ready to go, he's fit, he's healthy. And, and I think you're going to see Josh Kelly knock out between six and eight. What's his frame of mind right now within Team Kelly? They're calm. Everybody's calm. You know, I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen. Um, we already know what's going to happen. We already know what to expect. Um, I think this fight has came better this time. Um, you know, it could, listen, 20, when, whenever it was 2018, you know, it was, it was a long time ago. Josh has matured even more so than then. But the whole hype around this fight now, you know, this, the first time Josh was massive favourite win. Everybody thought it was going to be a walk in the park. The fight gets called off. Avan Essien goes and beats Langara twice. Um, and now he's fighting Josh Kelly again, going in as you know the, the the destroyer, the the beast from the east, and you know the guy who's meant to go and take Kelly's head off, and this is going to be too soon. And all this here stuff, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy thinking. Uh, I think you're just going to see the best of Josh. And people keep referring to the Ray Robinson fight and stuff. I thought he won the Ray Robinson fight by two rounds, but even at that, Ray Robinson's a very good fighter, and he can he basically beat um, the guy. Crawford fought uh, in New York. Uh, I forget his name. Kavalowskis. Kavalowskis. Um, he got a draw with him. Should have got the decision. And Kavalowskis has already stopped having this. And you can't think like that in boxing because it doesn't really matter. But Josh, Josh is much better than David David Avanesi, and I think he'll show it. Okay. Well, we'll find out this Saturday night live on Sky Sports. Do want to ask you about uh, last weekend? Josh Warrington with a, a shock loss. What did you make of the events? It was it was fantastic TV, but um, got it for Josh. You know, it was like I, I hate to see anybody lose, and I, and I kind of referred to it on Twitter saying like, in you know, one minute you're world champ and the best in the division, the next minute you're a hype job, and people talk some serious, silly stuff on on, on Twitter and on the internet. Um, I I didn't even kind of read up on Laura. Um, I just thought that it was going to be a walk in the park for Warrington. It was a nice keep busy fight. But you know the kid came with with um, something about him and you know upset the apple cart and unfortunately for Josh he took his eye off the ball. I think if he if he rematches him, you know I think with his own boxing ability he'll be able to beat him. Um, so I, I'd be confident that if they fought again it'd be you know it'd be a, a Warrington win. But it was just one of those things you know had a had a had an off night against a big um, disruptive puncher and you know got took took the loss. With the brutal fourth round and obviously the brutal ending as well. Do you think there will be a lot taken out of Josh moving forward? Mm, you could say that. And, and at that time, I did say it. I did say that you know, I, like when fights are like that, and I was concussed from that fourth round. He was probably concussed from the first round because you see him getting hurt in the first. Um, when you continue to take damage, it's not good for your brain. It's not good for your health, and they can be long lasting in your career. So, I think he just needs to have a long time off. Um, I know that's not probably what he wants, but I think it's probably going to be the best thing for him. And he's maybe take a bit of a break and then get back into it maybe the end of the summer and probably fight you know, at the end of the year. Um, kind of build himself, in back, back that, build, build himself back that way. But 
I think he just needs to take a bit of a rest because that was that was a very tolling fate on his body on his, uh, and on his brain. Well, it certainly was. Well, listen, uh, Mick, I spoke to, to Bob Arum recently. Uh, people from MTK are telling me that you've got a date coming soon. Interestingly enough, obviously, when Stephen Fulton uh, won his world title, people linking him to you. So I'm guessing that's not going to be in the next fight. What is the situation with you in a fight with Fulton potentially this year? Um, I definitely think it happens this year. Uh, I know I have a date. I don't even, I can't say it. I don't think you can say, but it's soon, isn't it? It's, it's soon, very soon, very soon. So, as you see, I'm already in shape, I'm already ready to go. Um, I'll fight very soon, and then hopefully fight Fulton next after it. Uh, that's the plan. Um, you know, this next one will be a uh, final eliminator for the WBO, and then Fulton has to face his mandatory, which will be me. Um, I'm already kind of ranked number one, I think, now, after, because Fulton was number one, and uh, Leo was champion, but Leo's obviously going to drop a bit now. Uh, so I'll be number one. Uh, I'll be looking to fight Fulton this year, and as a fight, you know, I'm excited for. What a great champion! What a what a what a performance! Um, and someone who will test every bit of me. So um, I believe I'll win the fight, and I believe it win, I'll win it well. But you know, what a great fight, and what one to be you know, anticipating. Thing is, I can't look past it. I have I have a fight coming up here very soon. So um, there's no point in me thinking about the Fulton fight yet, but. Theoretically, you know, that's that's going to be an amazing fight. Definitely will be. I mean, Carl had sparred Stephen for a long time and he used to rave about him, Carl Frampton, that is. And uh, we saw a brilliant performance from him the other night. So, you two for a world title. Brilliant. Yeah, I, I actually boxed in after I won my bronze medal in the 2012 Olympics. I went to Philadelphia. You um, boxed him, yeah? No, I didn't box him. You just, just sparred him, yeah? No, I was there. I, I seen him box. Oh, um, okay. I went with like a little club and. If I'm, if I'm honest, it was just the drinking kind of trip for me, and I end up I was a flyweight and end up fighting a lightweight um, because there was that much of a weight. But uh, I watched him fight. I only fought like a, a kid from the club I was with, and when he had a hard night then. But I, I've had my eyes on him since then. I have seen he was like he got on the USA team and all and all after that. So I, I've I've known Stephen Fulton for a long time. It's not just the flash in the pan for me. It's not just the last few years. I've been seeing him since since 2012, and. Uh, I, I, I've rated him always, so you know. Once I beat him, I'll have beat a great champion and uh, one I can you know be really proud of. And, and, and I know I will. Once my opportunity comes, I've always says I grow with both hands, and they want to take it away from me. And it'll be the same with Fulton. He, he'll be thinking that kind of mindset too. That he's got it, and he doesn't want to give it away. But you know, I'll be the guy taking it off him. Well, I hope that fight does happen this year. Just to close off, a uh, bit of sad news really in the division above you. Uh, Carl Frampton, Jamel Heron is off for now. Um, yeah, just a bit of a gutner, really, because that fight is a little bit like Josh and, and David, a bit cursed. It's crazy. it's crazy, it's cursed, isn't it? It just keeps getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. But, you know, hopefully the next time it's, it's rescheduled and hopefully it's very soon, um, it'll definitely happen. Um, I, 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 I like both guys. Obviously, I like Carl you know, more because he's, he's my guy, he's my friend. Um, but two great guys, two humble people, two people who are deserving of being world champion. And... Uh, it's an exciting fight still, and, uh, when, when it happens, if it ever happens, you know, I'll be there watching it. I mean, if you look at the mix at Feather and Super Feather, it's really exciting times. Obviously, Lara's put himself on the scene, yeah. you've got Shakur Stevenson, yeah. so you've got the likes of yourself and, and Fulton uh, at Feather. It's a, it's a brilliant time to be a Feather or Super Feather. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a, a two hot divisions right now. Um, very, very hot, very, very talent. Uh, talent ridden, there's low, low, <laughs> so much talent in it. Um, it's unbelievable. Um, so it's going to be an exciting few years in those divisions. I'm really looking forward this weekend also, same night as Josh, to uh, Burchelt versus Valdez. Uh, my, old, my old teammate Oscar Valdez, I'll be rooting for him. I hope he can pull it off, but it's a big, it's a big task. And you know, I know if the best Oscar Valdez can definitely uh, get the job done. You don't want to be in the first row for that, you'll be covered in blood. Definitely. <laughs> the old stay in Mexico more, I think it's going to be a bit like a Morales, Barrera kind of you know, fate. So I, I'm excited for it. Well, listen, Mick, call Jack back and also best of luck with uh, Team Kelly this weekend and we'll catch a word soon, all right? Good morning, Mark. Cheers, Mick. Take care.